Hello everyone, my name is Hans Me. If you don't know the phases of Counter Strike 1.6, then this video is gonna hurt your brain. Why I'm doing this? Because I'm trying to get banned in every single server in Counter Strike 1.6. Don't ask me why, but this is one of my biggest works in this game history. Enjoy the video. People are literally wondering how am I still able to play in this game without getting banned. We're gonna figure out that in this video actually, but now if you're watching this, really appreciate that, but consider subscribing, smash the like button, let's get into it. Of course, we all have played a classic game like Counter Strike 1.6. What things that makes this game more interesting and fun? Obviously, music. In 2018, I have made my own music list, but people were complaining about it. They thought I copied other people's works. But let's be honest for a second, it wasn't my idea at first. You can see that there are so many people that create the same thing, and you can also see that my costs are completely different. I wrote everything by myself without any help. You might say, like, bruh, how is that your best works and it's easy to make and we literally can find it in Google, blah 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, I know. Here's why I made a music list update. Yes, a music list update. I, I don't have any other name, don't judge me. It's almost the same thing, but a lot of easier. Like, there is songs effects, you can start any songs automatically, you can choose any songs by using a keyboard. Let me explain how exactly it works. As you can see, we have only 9 numbers in our keyboard, right? And we have 50 musics, but there is a twist. Like if you choose a number 2, the number you choose next will be between 20 and 29. Like if you press 3 and then 5, you will get 35. If you press 4 and then 9, you will get 49. It makes sense though, right? But there is a problem. If you press 2 and then you wanna hear music 7, all you have to do is press point button, this button, and then 7. If you didn't do that, you will get music 27. I know so many of you guys will lose his brain in this video, but it's not really hard to use, trust me. And plus button, any song you choose, you will get to the next song that you hear. And of course, minus button is a reverse plus button. Also, there is an on top button, which is a repeated music that you choose. And slash button to stop music. The zero button has two functions. Like if you choose a number two and then press on zero, you get music 20. If you press it again, it will just stop music because, you know, uh, zero is uh, nothing. There is so many more interesting things about it. I can't explain everything in this video or else this video will be like 30 minutes or something. And I use it every single day and for me it's really useful and it takes me like one year and three months to finish it. Long jump script. Now this is the moment that you guys was waiting for, right? You might hear of this script because it's one of the most popular videos on my YouTube channel. People actually didn't like it because, I mean, let's be honest for a second, it's not allowed to use. But here is the thing. I make this clip to prove myself that I can do something that nobody else can do. I am serious, there is no single link in the internet about this long jump script. So I started making this script in 2017, so I had an idea to make only one long jump script. And it worked perfectly, so I start developing and I make other jump states like double con jump and stand up con jump, and then I make uh, straight sounds effects and quack sounds effects, and you can jump sideways and backward, and there is like a different of strafe, like uh, easy strafe, normal strafe, uh, hard strafe, uh, strong strafe. And this is how long jump script, the first version, released, because there is literally four versions. After one year, I have finished the second version and I named it Long Jump Script Developer. In this update, I have made more additionals like music and run the script with 250 FPS, which is really interesting. And I have made a password to enable the script because so many people was abused using it. If you don't enable the script and click on the menu three times, it will give you three months. If you ignore them and click it again, it will just make you disconnect from the server and you will not be able to join any server except. DM me on a discord so I can give you the password to fix your entire game. The ID of my discord is in the description down below. I also fix so much glitches and I make it really strong that people start loving my script. So after 2 years in 2020, I have finished Long Jump Script Developer version 2. In this update, I have added some questions before opening Long Jump Script. Because so many people was complaining about their game was lagging and crashing for absolutely no reason. And these questions are, do you want to change your config, do you want to change your name, what is your game version, and how much you have FPS on classic servers. 
If you have low FPS on classic servers, it will ask you if you want to boost your FPS. So you have to answer this question before rolling long jump script. It will change some things in your game depending on your answers to make it faster or better or even fixing some of your comments. And I add strafe time like you can strafe for 2 seconds or 3 seconds also depending how the long jump is. And quad sound effects will only work for a normal strafe or else it will give you an error in the console. I also add the direction pad in both ways, like you can use forwards and choose the direction you wanna go like a right or left in the same thing on a backwards and a sideways. For a double con drop and multi con drop I have added 3 angles, the 0 angles to jump back and 90 angles to jump left or right or 180 angles to jump straight. And I have nearly added distance wall for a double con drop and multi con drop. It will make it so easy for a high jump, but you have to choose the right one. It's a little bit complicated, but it's not that hard to use. Like you have to go to the corner where the long jump starts, and you have to move your mouse trail like this, and then click on the chosen one, and that's it. There is so many more things in this update. As I said, I can't explain everything in this video, or else the video will be like 30 minutes. And yeah, about the last version. The long jump script developer version 3. Long jump script developer 3, there is not much things change except a hack strafe. A hack strafe is made by DLL file, which is this long jump script is no longer be a script, it will be a long jump hack developer 3. But don't worry, I'm not that stupid to use it on other servers, I still didn't even finish the last version and my decision to not post it in internet because it's too dangerous to use. And that's what we got today, thank you so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please consider subscribing, it's really free and you can always change my later. Thank you for watching guys.